this will be the last fucking time this man tries to fuck with me. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't see you there. My name's Felicia Fisher, and you're watching Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. Enjoy. Thanks, Felicia. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. So, what movie are we doing this week? Well, let's take a look back and find out. Oh, oh wait a second. This is my phone. I guess this movie came to us via the internet? Yep, this movie did come to me via the internet. It came from the director himself. So what's the movie called? Well, it's Visions of Filth. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Visions of Filth. Have you guys heard of this one? I haven't. So the director contacted me through a message on Facebook telling me that he's been a fan for years and he ordered a sticker from my Red Bubble store. He then asked if I'd be interested in doing any of his movies. He mentioned one being gross and maybe needing the puke bucket. And I thought, well, okay, mister who bought my sticker. Yes, I'll do it. You bought a sticker. He got one of these stickers. How could I not watch a movie from a fan who bought a sticker? Really, how could I not? I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't say no. You guys want to watch it? I say we do it. So, with that said, are you guys ready to start Visions of Filth? I guess I am. Let's do it. And I say I guess I am because I'm nervous about this one. I have a feeling it's gonna be scary. Like, I just have a feeling it's gonna creep me out. All I knew about this movie, though, was that it was gross and that it was right up my alley. I'm not drinking energy drinks anymore because I was very dehydrated. So I'm drinking water now. And guess what I'm drinking water out of? My motherfucking cup. My show shit. My show cup. I'm drinking my water out of my show shit. I'm drinking my gape, bitch. I'm drinking gape, motherfucker. Okay. Well, if we're gonna do this, we better do it. <laughs> Gotta find my flipper, turn on the TV, cue it up through the devices and, you know, all that shit. Then, we'll be good to fucking go. Gotta turn off Frankie real quick. So I did all that, then I hit play and the movie started. A film by Jason Impey. Impey. In association with anal blasters? Visions of Filth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did that say an, an association with anal blasters? I, I don't want to rewind because I'm on the computer, but I, I think it did. Maybe that's who can distribute my movies. I'm trying to get my movies out there on DVD somehow. Maybe anal blasters is the ticket. Who knows? Anyway, this is opening up with a man, and he just woke up in bed, butt-ass naked, sitting on the toilet, and he's, uh, he's shitting. Just zoomed up to him, and now he's having like a vision in red, a woman in panties, and then it's back to him in the bathroom, sitting on the toilet, shit. And now he's looking up and he's reaching, and he sees this woman in red, like, dancing around, being a kind of a slut. Oh, she's licking her hand. I hope she didn't just get home from the grocery store or anything like that, because in times like these, you gotta think about COVID. Come on. Just don't lick your hands, lady. He's going just very pensive on the toilet. And there she is again. I like this song. She's rubbing her boobs. She's rubbing her pooty. This music was moving me, especially the strings. It made me feel like I was a college student in a commercial for a community college. I felt like I can achieve anything. You hear this I can achieve anything music? She can achieve the longest dance. She's just rubbing her boobs still, doing a little bit of this shit. Now she's doing this. She's doing some of this. And he's going, just sitting on the fucking toilet. And then it zooms up to him and it goes to this red again and there she is dancing. Oh, she's gonna remove that bra. She's taking out her heavy boobs. She's got her heavy boobs in her hands. She's 
stripping off that bra. She's playing with those nip pals. I call them that because there are two of them and they're pals and they're nips. So she's playing with her nip pals. Yeah, so she's playing with her nip pals and she's rubbing her legs. And he's on the toilet reaching and he fell off the toilet. Landed on the ground and it faded to a girl with red hair and she's got like silk shoved into her mouth. She's tied up on a plastic floor. There's a guy tied up too. He's not moving. This woman is waking up and there's a guy in there. He's got a knife right over her head. And now the guy's waking up. Some cute dude. He's rubbing the knife on her legs and the guy's got this big butcher knife. Now he's putting it in front of the guy. Now the girl's screaming. He's pulling on her leg and she's screaming. See, this is what should have been on that Deep Web XXX. Like people screaming. You know, he's smothering the guy's face. I don't know what's in their mouth. Is this the pooping guy? Yeah, this is the pooping guy. He's picking up that big ass knife. There's this big screwdriver. Oh, he's got a hammer too. Has this all been one long take? I think it has, and it's been going on for quite a while, but I'm not complaining because the camera movement was fluid and the images were fucked up. I love myself a long take. He's touching the cute victim guy on his abs. And the killer's just fucking with these two, going back and forth between them, tormenting them with tools. She's got like a wig strapped to her head. And the camera's going up to him. It all has been one long take. The picture froze for a second, and when it came back, I saw our pooping hero carrying the guy out of the room. What'd he do? He got rid of the guy. Leaving him alone with the girl. Now he took out the knife. This is a huge, thick, thick, thick bladed knife. I bet he might rape her hairy hole. Looks like he's got a stiffy in those pants. And he's like rubbing her like she belongs to him and she's just his toy. He's rubbing her ass. He just put his face near her butt like he was trying to listen to a telephone call through one of those old phones that had the holes in them. You know those? Why would they put fucking holes in a phone that you could, do you, you know those phones? Anyway, that's what he was doing to her ass. Now he's just rubbing the knife up and down her body. Oh shit. He just lifted up her foot. He put the knife up to her toe. Oh God, and he just sliced her fucking toes. He didn't cut him off, he just cut him. Now he's laughing and he's putting the blood in her face. This is sadistic. Oh God, now he's doing it to her knee. He's pushing the knife into her knee. The screaming in this is everything. That's the kind of screaming Deep Web needed. He's cutting her down the center of the face. Just ran the knife down her forehead and her nose. He's cutting her cheeks now. This guy is really fucked up. And he's all pink looking. The lighting makes him look pink. He's cutting into her stomach now and she's going, no, no, and he's going, yeah, 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 yeah. And now he cut her in the stomach and her shirt's ripped and he's licking the blood like it's a pussy. He's rubbing that big fake knife up against her stomach. Uh oh, oh shit, he's pulling his dick out. Camera's zooming up to it and he just took it out of his pants and he's jerking his soft cock. Pretty graphic. And now I think he's fucking the hole in her stomach. It was fucked up. He's got the knife pressed up against her temple. He's pushing in the knife and it cut to the cute boyfriend who's dead outside the building. He's got white shit all over his face. He's got the screwdriver over the guy's eyeball. He's holding it. Oh, the guy blinked and he just stabbed it into his eye, pulling out the big long bloody screwdriver and he turned the guy's face to reveal the bloody gore. Looks like Thor's eye, when Thor lost his eye. Remember I took a little journey to end game? Oh yes, my journey to end game. I don't hate all mainstream movies, but I'm not a fan of any of them. So Thor 1 was directed by Kenneth Branagh. You know, the guy who does all that Shakespeare shit? Well, he directed Thor 1. So get ready for a lot of father, brother, my father, 
talk. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's all fathers and brothers. Pure fathers and brothers. Fathers and brothers. And the Tresseract, which is this blue cube. They talk about that quite a bit, actually. I think they live in the Shakespearean days because they're, you know, they're always saying father and brother. Anyway, back to the movie. So, he kills the girl and... Oh, he's waking up on the bathroom floor. We're back to present day. He's got a strange head on his dick. He's got a strange dick. Or are those balls with... What's going on here? Where'd the head of his cock go? Did it just get slurped up in foreskin? What's going on with this guy's dick? There's his dick! I couldn't tell what it was doing though. Okay, it's panning back up to it. Are those balls? No. Does he have three balls? Wait, what? No. It's a shriveled cock next to two shriveled balls. So it just looked like three old grapes. He goes into his bedroom and gets into bed naked. He just turned on his phone and he's watching a video of the dead girl and he's jerking it. They're just showing it. Cut to him rushing into the bathroom again. He's got a look of horror on his face. Uh-oh, he's getting down in the puke position. Oh. And it went whoop to this blue lit room. A girl in red lingerie. It's the girl from before doing this stuff again. This is my jam. She's rubbing herself. I do like this song a little bit. I mean, it does have a good beat. There he is. He's waking up next to the toilet. Now she's standing doing this. She's his dream lover. She's got black hair. Went back to him in the bathroom. He's spitting into the toilet. Then he just, <laughs> he just passed out next to the toilet and his hand went in. Oh, now there's a couple drinking. There's a guy, he's cute again, and a girl. That might be the dancing girl. Oh shit, and there he is, standing up behind her in the window. She's hugging her friend goodbye, the cute guy. She's locking her door. The friend is walking through a park, and it's raining. He buys some drugs from some guy on a bench, then the killer comes up behind both of them and bashes them on the head with a hammer and they pass out. Then he starts pulling the pants off of the cute guy. And there's his dick in balls, and he's hairy as fuck, and he's shoving the knife into his ass under his balls. Now he wiped off the blood on his thighs, and he's walking off. Meanwhile, the brown-haired dream girl is in bed and the killer breaks into her house and enters her bedroom and starts creeping up to her while he just walked into her bedroom, took his dick out, and is just jerking it, looking at her, shamelessly. This actor is just walking around jerking his real cock. He just reached out and he pushed his hand up against her mouth and she opened her eyes. There's his jerking dick. She's going, oh, the fuck? Oh, and it faded to black. Fade in to redness. She's on the killing room floor. He's walking around with his shirt off. She's squirming around. He's got his hands in his pants and he's jerking it. She's squirming around. Her hands are tied behind her back. He's got the screwdriver up to her face. She's got a black eye. He took his hammer and bashed it on the floor and said, this isn't a toy. He's a fucking psycho. He just hit her on the leg with a hammer and blood came out. Just smacked her on the leg with a hammer and she... <laughs> and there's blood on it. She's on her back and he's groping her boobs like a pervert tuning into Tokyo. Oh, she freed her hand. Get the hammer. And she hammered him in the arm. Uh-oh. No, you don't. Ooh, no, you don't. He said, I'm kind, I clothed you. You don't deserve clothes, do you? Shh. And he's cutting her clothes off. Time to jack my goon stick, my grease dong. And he's taking his pants off. Now he's totally naked and he just ripped her panties off. He said, I want you and I'm going to take you. And it's just a close up of her pussy and his dick. He just flipped her over and I think he's supposed to be raping her even though he's completely flaccid. He's still going for it anyway. She just puked up a bunch of white shit. He said, I haven't come yet. 
This guy is a really good director. I'm so honored that he bought my sticker. Oh, she's puking out more. And now he's licking her fucking pussy crack. And she's going, oh, fuck. He's licking her belly button now. It's a time to die. She's choking her to death. He kills her and he's cuddling up next to her now. And he just picked his dick up and he's jacking it. Still not hard, but he's doing it anyway. This is so obscene. We then go back to the bathroom where he wakes up next to the toilet and he goes back to his bedroom and... And he picked up his phone and he picked up his dick. He does not have a grease dong or a goon stick. He just sat at a shooting pain in his stomach. What is this? The story of a fucking serial killer with kidney stones? He goes into the bathroom and this time he gets into the tub and he lets go of his bowels. Oh God. And he just shit in the bathtub. I don't know if it's real or not, but there's like diarrhea everywhere with big chunks of shit in it. Oh. And blood. Blood is coming out of his ass. He just reached down and touched the blood. Oh my god, he just picked up a piece of his shit and it looks like a wet Tootsie Roll. Oh my god. And he let it fall out of his hand. He's sobbing now. He's reaching for the shit again. But this time the poop is covered in blood this time. He's lifting it up like it's a worm or a hagfish or an eel. He's crying. He's bringing the shit closer to himself and he just has fell back and dropped the shit on his stomach. The camera's backing up, looking down at the mess in the tub of blood and shit. This is gross. The blood looks good. The shit looks good. The guy's a good actor. Anyway, he manages to make it to the shower and while he's in there, he's attacked by the corpse of the brown haired girl and she just grabbed his neck and she's choking him and licking his cheek and there's blood coming out of her mouth. No, it's shit. It's all brown. She grabbed his dick and now she's really pulling and she just ripped off the foreskin and she's putting it up to his face and she's putting the dick in his mouth. She ripped his cock off and the girl just took a handful of blood and covered her face with it. She's rubbing up against him. She's in ecstasy. She's doing the dance moves that she was doing earlier except she's covered in blood. And there it is playing on his phone in the bathtub next to a piece of shit that was covered in blood. A film by Jason M.P. And that's it. Well, well, well. All right, so what do you say we put on Christopher Rage's music while we talk about this? I'm so happy to say that I liked this movie. The plot wasn't great, but the acting was good. The sh there were shocking scenes. The violence was brutal at times. And there were plenty of dicks in it, which is always a good thing. And that song was good when she stripped. So what do I give Visions of Filth on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a three. This was one of the best independent horror movies that I've seen in a long time. Stylish, gross, cruel, and weird, this is a movie you don't want to miss. The directing was good, there were long takes, the lighting was good. Job well done. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. While Ultron is coming to life, he's in like this weird enter the void place and you just hear voices and he starts talking to Jarvis. Anyway, he ends up killing Jarvis. Robert Downey Jr. and the gang come back and they see Jarvis's light orb, Jarvis's little computer, all damaged. But it turns out Jarvis was smarter than him and he went into hiding and then he came back out and he's fine but they are going to put him into the body of a red gay man with a diamond on his head. An infinity stone.